Hello friends, today we'll be looking at how to create some cool cloud images in Stable Fusion. I'll also show you a little trick on uh, how to make them extra special. Oh, and by the way, did you hear about the cloud that became a king? Reigned for years. AI. So today we're going to create some uh, cloud stuff, cloud animals, cloud people, cloud whatever. And we're currently in Think Diffusion because STXL has been quite heavy lately. And Think Diffusion gave me free access to their uh, GPU cloud solutions. I'm just using that and um, letting my computer rest a little bit so I can render faster. And we are using Allura today, and it's the Ether Cloud here by Joachim. So if you want to use that, just download it, go into your uh, models folder, Lora, and then drop that straight in there. If you are using a cloud based solution like Think Diffusion, you could just Take this, copy link address, go into the same here, models, Loras, press upload, and just drop that Civitai link in there and it will automatically upload. So what we have here in front of us is a cloud that looks like a dragon. And then let's remove this. So you can either, you can add the Laura here. Uh, you can also go in here, Laura, and just press it. That will give you the Laura to the prompt here. I will be using the DPM++ Stream Keras. We'll be using about 25 steps. And well, that's about it for now. You can play around with uh, the prompt to get more interesting images. Like, where did it go? Like the one here. Has a little more color and depth. You can actually see there's whiskers on the nose here. So for this, I actually used the digital oil painting style here. Those can also be uh, accessed from the description below. So let's try something else. A cloud that looks like a panda let's do two images here and we are generating we're currently using the juggernaut xl model and we have the ether cloud loaded and this is currently rendering real time here in sdxl and we are getting some cute pandas here so we have a little panda here and one here I actually preferred when clears uh, the cloud here for the nose now these aren't perfect, but uh, I mean, just run a couple more and uh, you might get something that you like. I, I still think they're pretty cute. You could do like, keep doing this, like a cloud that looks like a, a woman dancing and just keep generating like this. Something I can recommend and that is really powerful together with this is actually to use control. You will have full control of your little cloud generation. Now we here have woman dancing so this is a pretty i mean it's a good cloud but if you're looking for something specific you might need to generate a lot of times so let's go into control that here i'm gonna drop i found this stock photo just uh of a woman dancing here so we're gonna drop that in we are gonna enable control net and for this i'm gonna try depth make sure if you're using an excel model that you're changing the model to a control net as the excel model i will be using the diffusers depth mid here if you press this little explosion here you're gonna see how the preprocessor sees your image gonna lower the weight a little bit and the control step a little bit and let's make a test render here make sure it's enabled we have pixel perfect and we are generating a cloud that looks like a woman dancing so here we can see this image coming in live and we now have much more control over our uh, little cloud here. And you can see if you compare, it's following quite well. And you even have some sort of a transparency in the, the cloud here. So that's that's really cool. And uh, this works for anything you can put in like um, a dragon here, cloud that looks like a dragon. Let's load some styles on this. So the digital oil painting, and let's just run this again. Let's see, it might be that the styles here is gonna be a little strong, but the, let's look at the result and then uh, we'll adapt accordingly. And as you can see, the dragon is coming in too strong compared to the, the cloud Laura. So what you can do is you increase the Laura here. So 1.4, for example, and we're testing again. Usually a Laura value between 0.5 and 1.5 could be, uh, you know, good base values, but sometimes you need to traverse outside of those values. So we're now, as you can see, closer to um, a cloud version, but we're still leaving some color and some extra depth into this. So there are some wings here that aren't cloud, but the rest 
is sort of clouds, but with some glow coming in from, from the sun shining. So I think this is pretty cool. Now this is just, um, this is without the refiner. So you could also run this, run the same seed here. And let's add the refiner on top of this. And we're switching at 0.8. So hopefully we should see a little bit of an improvement in the sharpness and the quality. But for these clouds, I've noted that the refiner isn't uh, necessary. However, it can improve these more detailed images, especially when you start introducing more prompt styles into it. Just be aware that your render times will be a little bit longer because of the model switching. So I think this is pretty cool. So I hope you enjoyed. We're now generating cloud that looks like two women and dancing. Put your thoughts and ideas in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video. As always, have a good one. See ya!